Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I just wanted to say thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on with the video. guys welcome to today went down to the barn this morning Penny was lying in her stall so <laughs> forgot my phone forgot my camera so I went back up to the house she was still lying in her stall so I'm coming back down hopefully she's lying in her stall hopefully or else I missed that and I just heard noise in the barn and I'm pretty sure she's not lying in her stall Oh, hi, Penny. You okay? <laughs> All right. I was worried about you for a minute. Either you're getting really comfortable here, or something's wrong. When I see a horse lie down, I don't like. It. Hmm? So which one is it? Which one is it? You look kind of stiff. Oh, now you're taking a pee. Hi Gracie! Here we go. Well I missed it you guys. You know, she was lying in her stall. She got up. You know, it's early in the morning, so maybe uh, she wasn't expecting anybody to be here. Because it is quite early. It's about 7.30 in the morning. She doesn't expect me here till at least 8 o'clock. Or... But anyways, yeah, you're fine. What's your breakfast? Honey, have your breakfast. There you go. Eat up. There you go, Will. I'll eat up. Out of all the horses that we have at this barn, Willow is the most... Give me my breakfast! Give me my breakfast now! You're here, give it to me! Anyways, it's a nice day. It's cold out though. Temperature did drop. It's only plus one inside the barn. So that's, that's good, but outside the barn it's in the minuses. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm home today and I'll be doing chores and letting these ponies out. So I'm at the barn alone. And the reason why I like to be alone at the barn is when I do chores, I like to crank up the music. So I'll be cranking up the music and cleaning stalls. And that's the best way to clean stalls, cranking up the music. Right, Molly? Oh. Yeah, I know you want to go running around. And while I do that, the dogs will be running around looking for cats. All right, we are here at the barn, and there's a few things we got to do. We're going to put some ointment on Chino's hoof and uh, some hardening ointment, I guess. And change start blanket because it's cold out, and Gabby's getting the purple blanket out. And I don't know why we didn't clean out this van. There's a saddle in there. There's everything in there. Everything, even a hay bag. Oakley. Anyways, we're changing a blanket. Come on, push that door open. Push my left hand. Oh, excuses, excuses. I think you need to work out more. Anyways, now we have to do the trek over to the other hay. Hey bin area because that's where Storm and Gino are. Alright, we made it to the herd. Hey hey Finn. What's doing buddy? Huh oh, Finny boy? Huh oh, Finn? Hi. How you doing? Hey Chino. Come you guys aren't eating hay. You just standing around? You ready to get your fill? 
Nope. Let me hold on to Storm before he takes off. Hey, Storm. Here, Storm, I'm going to take this off over here. Good boy. Good boy. Sylvie's getting hugged by Finn over there. Oh, and I'm getting attacked by Storm over here. Storm. Storm. What are you doing, Storm? I'm trying to hold on to Storm here, and he's like, got his head in my face. Are you cold? We got a nice warm blankie for you. Oh, it shocked you. Yeah. Look at that. Nice warm blanket. Oh, I'll come Oakley is all the way over there. Oakley is in the little shelter way over there by himself. <laughs> yeah, do it up first and then we can take this other thing off and then I can hold them. Hey, stop it. No. What? Finn was hugging me. Can you hold that? Because I can't. My fingers are pretty sad. All right, there we go. This is how you do it. This is how you get a blanket on in the field. One person holding on to the horse and the other one doing whatever else. I love these gloves because they're thin enough. What kind of gloves are they? Uh, riding gloves. Are they actually riding gloves? Yeah. What brand? Horse. Horse. Horse brand not, glove. Not the actual horse brand, but they have a photo of the horse. Well, that's probably the horse brand. No, no, they have a Z logo. A Z on it? They have a Z on it. Like for their logo, it's Z with horse on it. Oh. Horse is spelled with a Z for them. So. All right, Storm, you getting your blankie on? You know what the problem with the cold is? I'll have to pee. Can you take that one? Take that blanket off, him. Hold on to him because he's, you don't want him to run away. You take that one. I'll take this one off. You hold on to him. There you go. I'll hold on to this. Keep me warm, okay? Keep myself warm. This one doesn't have a neck, does it? No. Nope. He doesn't need a neck. I'll have to get you a new blankie, Storm. And Finn! I keep saying Finn needs a new blankie. You need one with a neck. Yeah, we should get those ones that Chino's got. They're all on sale. Get yeah, one for Storm and G and Finn, hey? And you all be matchy matchy. Be matchy matchy. Okay, Storm. See you later. Okay, hey, buddy. See you later, buddy. See you later. When Finn feels sad, like if we fall off of him, he thinks it's his fault, but it's not. He's just teaching us to stay on. Yeah, it's your fault. You didn't hold on. Daddy is when he's scooping. Well, you still got to hold on. Yeah. Was, That's how you know you don't use your leg. So Gabby's putting on the ointment now. Yeah, that's a nice blanket. You can get, you should get one for Finn and Storm. Although they'll be matching. There you go, Chino. Good morning guys, welcome to today, welcome to today. All of our Christmas cards thus far are from subscribers. Isn't that amazing? No, my mom's is up there. Oh, Sam's mom's is up here. Which one is your mom's? Obviously not that one. This one? Dear. Yeah, how can I guess? All right, so most of our Christmas cards this far are from our subscribers. Thank you for sending them. Amazing, sweet, kind, amazing. Like, it always amazes me that people go out of their way to send us stuff. Like, I sent out all of our prizes the other day, like a while ago. And, oh, it was so much work. Um, so it amazes me that people will go to work for us. I have whiplash. Yeah. Sylvia has a touch of whiplash from her fall. I had it before too. Tell them what your symptoms are. It's on my neck. Yeah, her neck feels tight, right? And it kind of hurts a little. And then when she gets moving around and it gets moving, then she's better. But it's still there. It's still there. Yeah, I know. I've had it. It's no. terrible. It takes, it's just in this side. Yeah, it takes a long time to heal up. I think I get it like almost every time I fall though. Yeah, I know. The same thing happens to me too. Like I've only ever had it once. But yeah, it makes sense. When you fall and your head flies back, it kind of pulls on your muscles. So your muscles get stiff and hurt. How's your wrist? Good. Better? Yeah, it still hurts a little bit. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Gabby.
Everybody wants to know, breaking news, are you offended from Sophie's fall in the video that we no. made yesterday? Were you upset that we all said, Gabby, stop it? No. Tell the truth, were you offended? No. Tell like, usually people are screaming, Gabby, stop it, Gabby, and then I get mad at Gabby and everybody, the whole world's against me. So we're headed to do some shopping. Anytime Sam is home and we have a chance to get like all the things done that we need to get done, then we're going to go and get them done. I have like... I decided on a game for Christmas Eve when my family comes. It's when we celebrate my family Christmas. I decided on a game and we're gonna go get the prizes for it. And yeah, Sophie's the last one out. <laughs> Bye, Sophie. She's got a big smile on her face. Run her over. Don't run her over. After Christmas, I'm getting a new, a new camera. This one has had the life use out of it. And I don't like it to use for Christmas. We're ready for a new camera. And I think I need a laptop. So you guys will have seen now that nobody was offended. Like, okay, so here's a story for you guys. In the summer, we went to a horse show and there was a guy parked beside us. He put up his shade tent, put a nice big lounge chair underneath it, laid back and had a nap while all the kids were showing. In the middle of his nap, a big huge gust of wind came up right in the middle of the show. His tent that he did not secure went flying all across the air. The girl in the, uh, in the show that was showing, her horse spooked. She got flowing, she got flung right off of her horse. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. She stuck it. She stuck it? Yeah. No, she her fell. Horse didn't spook that bad. So the girl in the ring, her horse spooked. I think that she fell off. The shelter flew over top of our trailer and smashed me in the back of the head. People didn't say they were sorry. They didn't all they did was scrunch it up really quick and throw it in the garbage. They didn't say they're sorry, but Everybody in the whole place was like, oh my gosh, what the heck are they thinking that they brought this big tent to a horse show and they didn't even secure it and then fell asleep under it. We're, weren't even watching it. Like, Also, it came from me in the storm. It is, yeah, our horses broke free. All the horses, like there was a stampede. Like it was crazy stuff. Yeah, horses are gonna spook. There, but there is a point where you can choose to make better choices when you're around horses because you know horses are spooky. And Finn is not a super spooky horse. All I'm saying is it is natural to be like, when something happens, your first reaction is to be like, oh my gosh, what were you doing? Why would you do that? And then everybody calms down and then everybody realizes that it's not that big of a deal. And that was like us, it was not that big of a deal. But I'm really happy to see all the people who love Gabby and supported her. And I love that you guys are not afraid to stand up and be strong and fight for the underdog and fight for what's right. Like, I, I love that too. Some of the comments were a little out of control though, using really mean words and saying really awful things. There were some really awful things. Those people have been blocked, so it's okay. But anyway, I just want to say that about yesterday's video. Learn my lesson. I'll be more careful about what I share. Even though I believe in sharing the real stuff. I believe in people knowing that real emotions happen. And also, Sophie did not scream and that's why Finn is spooked. And she didn't even really scream. Her horse spooked and as she was just about to go down, she said, Gabby! Like to get mad at Gabby. She didn't spook her horse. She didn't scream and spook the horse. I appreciate all the sweet, kind comments you guys have posted today about Sophie and hoping that she feels better. And today's shout out goes to Colored Daily. This is a girl that sent us a video a long time ago. I know exactly what she looks like. Um, and she tries to watch in the mornings before she goes to school. I apologize that when the vlog doesn't get up, sometimes things happen and it takes a little bit longer and you're not able to watch before school. But I see you, Colored Daily. I appreciate all your kindness and all your comments that you leave and I appreciate how much you support us. I just wanted to say that I see you and I recognize you and we all love you. Let's the length of it's good, I just need it wider. Okay, so Gabby has a craft she's gonna do with the horses. No treat, Sophie. For something. Oh yeah, those are cute actually. Little boxes? Yeah, alright. Alright, let's get them. Sophie's such a good shopper. That minute that Gabby says, I forgot my wallet, so you're gonna have to pay. Yeah, that just happened. Do you know why I'm such a good shopper? Why are you such a good I shopper? Like spending money. She does like you better be you better marry somebody rich or be a rich girl. Alright, so Gabby's got her hat, so you guys saw on TikTok. Did you see this on TikTok? Chino. Chino. Storm. Storm and Finn. Finn gets the smaller one because he's tiny. Alright. Okay, so on Christmas we plan to play a game. Every year we play a game and things get crazy. People get so competitive. We usually do like the saran wrap ball, you know that game? If I you, think you need more boxes. Yeah, I do. We have to go back there. You have to run in and get me three more boxes. 
So, yeah, like we play it and then everybody gets crazy and the kids yeah. cry if they don't get like a mm. something, like they if they don't win the prize at the end or like Sam throws a fit. Yeah, like the kids, the little tiny kids cry like Brooklyn and Jacob and Sam. Four bucks. Sam, yeah. No, we mean I have five. No, because, oh. So yeah, like that happens every single year because they all got my competitive genes. But I don't cry that. I don't cry over stuff like that. But anyways, so this year I'm trying a whole different game. A game that is hopefully gonna not make people cry, but it's gonna be kind of a physical game. And that makes me nervous because my boys are pretty physical boys. So we're gonna see how it happens, how it works out. I'm hoping I'm for good gonna things. I'm probably gonna get a candy box. I that am. Be good. I'm gonna hey, video it on Christmas Eve so you guys can watch. We can put shock shockers on the boxes so when they touch it they get zapped. Do you know Whoever where to buy it. those? Just hook it up to electrical cords, they hold it. So I bought a oh. bunch of boxes. I bought five. I need three more. We're gonna do a little game with these boxes. Cool. So today is really a cold outside. I think it was like minus 10, no, minus, minus 10 at night, in the night. Which actually isn't that cold. If you're Canadian, then let me tell ya, whew, I'm cold. If you are Canadian, you laugh in the face of the cold. You don't feel the cold. I'm just joking. I am, must not be Canadian because, whew, I hate the cold, whew. The medicine that Penny takes for her liver is was frozen, and so I have to wait and give it to her. And I noticed some things happening, you guys. I noticed a bunch of big changes. I think Sam videoed this morning that he caught Penny laying down. I'm gonna get a halter. He caught her laying down, and I know she lays down every single night, and she wakes up, and she gets up every morning when I'm down. Like, as I open the door, she's getting up. So that's normal for her. Oh. Well, hello, Miss Penny Pickle. She sees the halter. <laughs> All right, I'll drop it. Hello. I got your medicine. She sees the syringe. Yesterday when I gave her the medicine, she did something so funny. I'm going to see if I can get her to do it again. She just opened her mouth and swallowed the syringe. She just like put it, she just shoved her mouth on it. It was so funny. Come on, Pen. Come on. Okay, like... I know you guys want a treat, and I'll give you one after. You got to do it after. I give you guys the treat after. Look at you, you're such a pretty girl. Come on. Oh, come on. A sunny day, but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. I hear the jingle bells, people singing about love. Feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way A reason to hang around and celebrate this day Anyway, I feel something changing. Like, I do feel it. I, I see it. So today Sam found her laying down and then she didn't rush to get up. She just was like chilling and that's not like her. And yesterday when I rode her, she hardly put up any kind of a fight. Like she, I don't know how to explain it. Essentially, when I was riding her, she just gave in so easy. Like she just was so much more calm and so much more relaxed. And I feel things changing in her. And when I rode her yesterday, she moved so different. And I was trying to say this, but nobody will listen to me. When I was riding her, her back moved. Like her back wasn't as tight. And I didn't realize her back was tight until... Suddenly her back was loose and I felt all the moving parts. I didn't like that feeling. But she was more free in how she moved. And that was new. That was from the chiropractor. That was from the chiropractor. But I definitely noticed a change in her. It's only been a couple of days. But I'm excited to see if it keeps happening. Honestly, I'm so cold. Like, I didn't have my mitts on. I regret it. I'm going to be frozen when I get back to the house. All right. Let's go back to the house. What's for supper? Supper is set. Hello Fresh has arrived. You guys know that being out with the horses all day and being at the barn and taking care of them leaves us little time for cooking. Sophie's been taking over most of the cooking lately or she's been taking over some of the cooking lately. And I decided to jump on the bandwagon and go with a meal preparation system. Hello Fresh is the one we chose. Wow, we've never had 
Whoa, is there fish in here? Uh, cheesy stuffed, wait, let's see. Cheesy stuffed meatballs. Oh my god, we're cooking those tonight. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know how to make those. Wow, Sylvie, this is amazing. Um, it's like Christmas. South pork. Fajitas. Southwestern style pork fajitas. Oh, let's have that. I love fajitas. We're having the meatballs. Okay, last one. Um, beef and roasted red, red pepper, pepper ragu with spaghetti. With spaghetti. Oh my goodness. Wait. We have ground beef. And then all the re all the recipe cards. Oh my gosh, this is like Christmas. Ooh, what's in this? It's an oh, ice is this pack. A fish? It's an oh. ice pack. Wow. All right, so let's look at the pictures and decide what we're gonna have tonight. This takes 30 minutes to cook. Beef and roasted red pepper ragu. This takes 35 minutes. Cheesy stuffed meatballs and southwestern style pork fajitas. Oh. We're having these. You want the meatballs? Let's let Gabby look at them. Let's take a vote. <laughs> All right. Ooh, can I cook it though? Meatballs it is. Cheesy stuffed meatballs. Look at how amazing that is. Can I cook it? Yeah, you're gonna cook Wait, it. This is so easy. Yeah, this is so easy. Even a kid could cook it. Thirty-five minutes. Thirty-five minutes from from box to eat. Welcome to the Fresh Fam. I've never seen anything packaged so amazing before ever. Like that was like Christmas, wasn't that like Christmas? So Sylvie's getting ready to make us some cheesy stuffed meatballs with saucy cavatappi pasta. Gabby's excited. I'm excited. Gabby's actually into the whole HelloFresh thing. This is the first time we've ever used a meal kit before and I looked online. HelloFresh has the most variety. I think they said that it had 22 different varieties of meals you could choose from every single week. Right? The dogs are like, let's eat! Let's all eat! <laughs> I like that when you're super busy you can come home, grab a bag, throw it together. I love that Sophie's going to help us make it. And I think I'm gonna be the one making. Yeah, and I think it's really good that Sophie can do the step-by-step -step recipe. Spinach. Spinach. And that she can make it. Like this is such a great um, learning opportunity for her. Beef flavor broth. Beef Some flavor cheese. broth. Concentrate. Some it's cheese. a broth. It's macaroni. Love the spinach. I What's love a mess thing? recipe that has the most. It's an onion. So one thing that Sophie really likes to do is not just cook any kind of simple throw it all together recipe. She likes something that's got spices. Some more cheese. Some more cheese. Fresh tomatoes. This is, this is gonna be yummy. That's mustard. It's basil pesto. All that comes in one bag. All that comes in one it bag. It doesn't look like it fit. And you're gonna, and plus it comes with the meat. You're gonna make all of this. I also like how you can order ahead of time and plan for your meal kits to arrive like when you know you're gonna have a really busy week and you're not gonna be able to cook. This would stop us from eating out so much. Don't you think it would stop us from yeah. eating out? I really like the recipe cards too. It has the picture, has the ingredients, has the direction. I love it. I like it. Do you like it, Sylvie? Yeah, we need to collect all these. Look at how fresh the spinach is. I don't have much here. I know. There's a lot of there's a lot Beef of ingredients, huh? Flavor broth. All right, so Sophie is busy cooking away. She's got like, the instructions. It's 532 now. 532. And what do you have here, Sophie? So I have some tomato sauce that's thickening up. And then in two minutes and 13 seconds, I will check. She's got meatball with cheese inside them that she made by hand. It's awesome. Don't I can't worry, wait. I washed my hands. Can't wait to show you guys the finished product. Okay, so how's that for an 11 year old girl? Isn't that amazing? So he made it for us. Hello Fresh, thanks for supper tonight. So good. Another thing that I think what HelloFresh would be really good for is if like you have a friend that has a baby or you have a relative that's sick or for people like during COVID, like elderly, and it's hard for them to get out and get their groceries and stuff. I love the curbside drop off. Like I love that they just drop it off at your house, outside your door. And if any of you guys are interested in trying HelloFresh, I know I've seen it on so many videos before and I've always been interested in trying it. You guys can get $80 off if you click the link in my description code and you get free delivery. That is a really good deal. I'm not gonna lie, it actually tastes so good. Like I'm I'm shocked. Sophie, did you like cooking it? Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful?